Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In this week's Climate Classroom, a look back at the top five extreme weather and climate events of 2022. We start right here on the west coast of Florida with the world's most destructive storm of the year. With estimated losses between 50 and 100 billion dollars, Hurricane Ian is likely destined to become Florida's most costly storm in history. Ian roared ashore on September 28th. Winds of 150 miles an hour and a towering storm surge of 15 feet decimated coastal communities. Ian's prolific rainfall was a one in 1,000 year rain event, flooding rivers and submerging homes up to their rooftops. In July, the United Kingdom hit 104 degrees, shattering the national heat record. A study found that heat intensity would have been statistically impossible without climate change. This was just a small part of Europe's hottest summer on record. Government data revealed the heat waves contributed to 20,000 excess deaths. The combination of record-breaking temperatures and low rainfall led to Europe's worst drought in 500 years. Rivers like the Rhine and Danube dried up, halting shipping. A similar scene played out in China along the Yangtze River, where water levels dropped to their lowest in 150 years. In the U.S., the West experienced its most extreme drought in 1,200 years. In the east, you could practically walk across parts of the Mississippi River in late fall. A study of 2022's widespread northern hemisphere drought found it to be 20 times more likely because of human-caused climate change. Perhaps the most dramatic weather event of last year was the one you likely never heard of, devastating floods in Pakistan. Summer monsoons flooded 10% of the nation, an area the size of South Carolina. The floods killed 1,700 people and left 2.1 million homeless. Right now, the Horn of Africa is in the midst of its worst drought on record. NASA says the drying is due to three consecutive years of La Nina and also climate change. In Somalia, Kenya, and Ethiopia, more than 2 million children are in need of urgent treatment due to severe malnutrition, with 24 million people running out of water. This is forcing millions to flee from their homes just to survive. Now, globally, over the past decade, weather and climate disasters have displaced more than twice the number of people as compared to conflict and violence. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.